Okay. Just to autofocus, I think. Okay. I think that's good. A little bit of a glare. <clears throat> Okay, give it a couple minutes. Hi, Molly, Edie. Anybody else popping in? Good morning. How y'all doing? Hopefully we have, uh, well, I think we'll have Janet back. I don't know about Julie yet. Julie may still be gone for the rest of the week. But Janet might probably be here today. So they met up on Monday, well, Sunday and Monday. So um, hi, Rachel. Thank you. You as well. So let me clean my glasses here. A little let's see mary julianne so i got a paper haul in from Xandra's shop paint and paper studio Xandra. so i got some papers in i thought we would do some more work in the little um napkin and paper journal and um, unless y'all got some other stuff y'all want to do or talk about or whatever, let me open up this little pack. She sent me some free stuff. So let me open up that. I took everything apart and, and out of the plastic except um, the, um, pa the individual, the individual uh, rice papers. I haven't opened those yet, so I'm going to open up those. Hi, Arlene. Hello, TikTok. Emily Maseki. How you doing, guys? So she sent me this one. I bought a whole bunch of these, and I didn't get that one. She sent that one to me. So there's a bunch of free stuff here she sent me. <clears throat> Some more napkins. Because this is napkins and paper in here. Oh, look at this. So oh, that's cute. Mm, it's out of the Somerset Studio magazine. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Let me get a sip of juice. Um, and then she sent me some cigar labels. One of her business cards. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's swallow wrong or something. She, it's a hollow one. And uh, she always sends a little tag or something she's made. Thanks for ordering. Rose gold on the tag. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> so she sent me those goodies to use. We'll try to put them in the book today. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Got to get my voice rolling here. Hi, Diana, Kelly W., who else? Let's see. I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. So I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to work in our little art journal today because I got papers. So I'm going to glue these in in the, the journal. And uh, I'll just sit here and do a little flip while we're, while we're talking <clears throat> of what we've done so far in it. Hi, Linda. Is it too light? Maybe it's a little bright. Let me let me turn down the brightness just a little bit. Did that make it better or worse? I don't know. <clears throat> so, uh, and I'll zoom in when I start working on it. So, so I've been mostly working with uh, rice papers, napkins, and stencils. Like here's one where we just had the paint and haven't gone any further with it. They're all at different stages. And um, so, hi, Janet. Glad you made it. I don't think Julie, Julie won't be back, will she? She'll be gone all week. <clears throat> we did this one on stream. 
Let's see. I said hi to Shelly, little sister Cheryl, Gaga. Uh, who else am I missing? So, yeah, I thought we would just work in this journal today. Hi, Debbie Bruce. Good morning. Um, I sent you out something yesterday, Debbie. So um, be looking for that. Let's see what else. Who else is here? I sent out the um, y'all on Monday that won something in the giveaway, the book, and uh, Rachel's Rachel won a print. So that that all went out yesterday. I went to the post office and got things mailed yesterday. Let's see who else. Just uh, just gonna keep flipping. This is just a little, this paper is like that watercolory type paper that's real absorbent. You're welcome. It's real absorbent. It's really not good for writing on. You have to almost put something down on it, you know, like a journaling spot or something to write on it. So this is all just things I've glued in here. And I'm just kind of making, thank you, Ashley. Happy Wednesday, <laughs> you too. Brenda D., and uh, so these are rice papers that I bought from Zandra. All the rice papers I bought from Zandra. Hi, Bacola. How you doing? My little snapdragon. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Rachel. And uh, then like this, this right here, this is one of the rice papers. This is one of the rice papers. So, um, so it's Paint and Paper Studio, Zandra. Uh, but when she posts on Instagram or Twitter that she's got in new stuff, you better grab it because it goes quick. So as soon as I saw her post about these papers, and uh, well, I think this one she's had for a while, but uh, they they go really quick. So you got to grab them when you can. <laughs> Hi, Linda Rins. I, so I don't know what she has left in her shop. But uh, so you can see I've just glued down. So I'm trying to fill the book with these the, my, the rice papers and napkins. And um, so, so I have a few blank pages left here, so I should be able to fill these up today. Here's here's one of the pages we did, and it's been a couple months since I think we worked. A time flies. I think oh, well, we just worked in that a couple weeks ago, and it's like a couple months ago. It just you know goes so fast. So, um, but this is this is where we head. We head to something like this. Or like this, or you know, some of these. This one's not completed yet, but like this one. So um, we're, we're working toward that. So I just like to fill up, like start with you know some rice paper or a pretty napkin, and then go back and work on it whenever I feel like it. <laughs> I never feel compelled to have to finish a page just because I glued something on there. I just uh, I'll just flip through and find something that looks. Fun. Then there's a couple more pages. Well, one right there. Um, something that just looks interesting. And then I'll go and work on it. Hi, Darlene. Thank you, Pacola. There's uh, and the links in the chat. Make sure you guys make sure you have live chat clicked. And that goes for if even if you're watching the recording, make sure you have live chat clicked or you will not see all the chat. But uh, when the mods put a link in, they are a live link in the chat, so you can uh, go directly go directly to it. <clears throat> Thank you, Pacola. And I think uh, Tina, I think, has uh, to take her mom to an appointment today. So she may pop in, but I don't expect her to be here. So today it might just be Pacola and Janet. <clears throat> so Janet and Julie got to meet up with a third person. We did this one too. We did this one. Uh, I think this was the last one we did in this pay in this book. Was this double page spread? We did this, and this was a napkin, and um, so we used the napkin, and then you know added paint and painty papers to it. And we did this one. See how this looks like a butterfly here? This looked like this, so it just turned out that way. So, hi, Sylvie, Janice Johnson, who else? Anybody I missed? So, we have a couple more blanks back here. 
So we got a few. We have a few. I don't think we're going to fill this to finish filling it today, even if I got out the napkins, which I really just wanted to use these uh, paint these uh, rice papers. So then there's that's a napkin there. So it just gives you a book that's got a got a bunch of stuff going on already. So and this was a, one of the rice papers that I got from Sandra. If they're really big like this, like like say where's this like this guy here. I don't want to cut them in half, so that's I just put them sideways, and then I can do other things on there. <clears throat> so, but yeah, I got a nice little paper haul that I bought as soon as she posted that she had this new, um, these new Asian papers in. I bought them. Some people say Asian, some say Oriental. I just say Asian. <laughs> they're ja I think it's Japanese designs. They're Japanese designs. Uh, so yeah and then you just glue other things in you can and again you can put in journaling spots if you if you're big on journaling i have different journals for writing and i have then my art journals that i don't really do a lot of writing in them uh so they're kind of separate for me but if you like to combine the two things then put in a journaling spot like right here would be a good spot for a card, you know, to, to journal on. If you if you like to journal, put in quotes, poems, verse, whatever you like. So, oh, what is it? No, 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 no. Get down from there. Ah, get down. Get down. No, can't get up there. Um, so I got this off of Amazon, and it's um, I don't know. I don't have any you know ISBN or anything like that. But it's a it's a leather journal. Looks like this on the side, and uh, you can see it's individual signatures one two three four five six signatures in there and it has the wrap around um tie and if you go on amazon though you, you it, they're not hard to find just put in leather journal and they'll you know tons will pop up but again when you buy these kind of journals you really can't tell if the paper is going to be good for writing on or just for gluing and things like that like this one's got that real absorbent it, it feels like watercolor paper, but it's it's it would if I write on this, it just feather right out. Unless you prep it, you know, gesso it or something, which I don't like to do all that. If I'm going to write in the journal, I want to be able just to write in the journal. So that makes this one to be, um, you know, an art journal. And then if I want to put anything in, I'll just glue that on top. So there we go. Any questions? Hi, Kimberly. And there's tons. Terry Lynn. Uh, I have tons of videos. I've been streaming for 11 years and I've got over a thousand. And that's just the ones I have on YouTube. You know, I had tons more on Ustream that never made it to, that never made it to YouTube. So, um, yeah, there's lots. Just put in art journaling, mixed media, collage. If you like to do the color books, you know, just put in a topic. I've got, because of Pecola made me do it. <laughs> I think I have about 20, 20 different, maybe more, um, playlist. And then you can, if you want something very specific, just look in the playlist. So, yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show all the papers, and then we'll work in this book. And if you all have anything else you want to talk about, do, have me show, or work on, just let me know. On Monday's stream, we did Pan Pastels in the Momo Girl Color Book. And we did that on Monday. And I did post that on Instagram. Let me see here. I'll show you. We did that on Monday. Let's see here. Um, so, yeah. This is the one we did on uh, Monday. It's Denise. Yes. What's up? I'm streaming. You want to say hi to the girls? Oh, wait a minute. You're not on speakerphone. Hang on. Wait a minute. Okay, you're on speakerphone. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I was thinking about coming to see you on Saturday, mostly oh. just to dump a bunch of my stuff over at your house. Okay. All right. That's um, that's good. You come early before the traffic. It, what yeah. not Boo coming up this weekend, though? Yeah, but she's got the game um, in Athens on Saturday. She's going to go to that. Oh, so, so is she coming up sat Friday? She's coming up tomorrow. Okay. I oh. Bring that desk and that warmer, though. Okay. All right. Bring it. 
Uh, All right, well, let me call you back after the stream. Get a grilled cheese. Okay. Uh, you know, of course, you always get a grilled cheese. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, Janet Janet says Denise is her spirit animal. <laughs> All right, so let me show you. And I did um I did pull a couple of watches. You know, I like I love adding time to my um to my journals. So I did pull a couple of those and I got some wax paper to put behind the pages as we work. So let me go and show you what I got from Xandra's shop. If y'all missed it a minute ago, she sent me these little goodies, a couple of extra little napkins a tag, her hollow um, holographic business card, some um, cigar labels, and a couple of cutouts from, um, she left the little strip here that said Somerset Studio. So she cut these out. So we might glue these in there as well. So we got that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the papers out of, these are the only things that I haven't un unwrapped yet. Oh, and she sent me this one, this piece, this rice paper. So they're rice papers, very sturdy. Oh, I like that sound. <laughs> it's very sturdy, so you can see it's rice paper. And um, so these these are sold in individual sheets on her shop. Hi, Becky Kalura, Kathleen. Uh, thank you, Brenda D. Um, let's see. And if y'all want to follow Maseki um, in the Netherlands, let me find her real quick. She posted, I can't remember what she posted. <laughs> so she posted something really cool. Was it her flowers? Let's see. I know she posted that too. Hang on. Let me look her up. So this is Maseki here. So, oh, I would know it was a, it was a um, color book page. So she posted this one. So there's Maseki. Maseki, Trisha Green. Some of these girls are really rocking the color book pages. And then she has these beautiful flowers pictures. So there's there she is right there. It's M-I-S-S-E-K-E -E underscore. Okay, so if you want to find her, there we go. Yeah, so go follow her. Okay, so let's take these out of the... Sometimes they're... I can, un, I can pull this apart. Sometimes I have to cut them out. All right. <clears throat> and these are Stamparia. These are from Stamparia. And when Xandra orders these and she tells you, I got new papers in, I'm telling you, if you want them, you better grab them because they go quick. So I got this one. And it's, it, it's, they're thin. So once, you know, once they're on the paper, they, they darken up. Am I too flashed out? How, how are we doing on? Does it look a little bright? Let me know. I can turn down the brightness. <clears throat> so, hi, Nichols. It's been a while, Nichols. How you been? It's been a while since I've seen you. Got the, the dragon. And I'm going to put all these, all my, well, not every one I've ever bought because I made those big uh, poster books with some of them. Uh, like the Da Vinci ones, and I had another uh, Asian set that I um, that I used for the big book that I made with poster. Here's the wave. See the wave there. And so I'm I'm using all these in this particular journal. I'm trying to do. It's just like a collection. <laughs> it's like a collection. Oh, I just love them. Here's the koi fish. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's all the rice paper. So we're going to use all of these in the book. And then I, this is other things that I bought. Okay, and I've already taken, they came in plastic and they were connected like a, like a pad. And I took these all apart already. It'd be easier to show as well. I haven't taken this one apart. This one is Studio Light. <clears throat> I believe all the rest are Stamperia. Oh, wait, what's this one? This one is craft. Oh, what is that? I can't see it. So tiny. Craft connection? No. I can't tell. Consortium? Where's my? I can't tell. Let me get my. So tiny. Some of the writing. Yeah, consortium. Craft consortium is the one that did these uh, metal textures, and then this one is studio light. 
and the rest are Stamperia. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of juice. So, hi, Andrew, Kimberly. Who else am I missing? All right. So those are the rice papers. These are the background. So I'm just going to, let me kind of move everything out of the way so that it's not, I'm not seeing this in the background. Well, you're still going to see it. I'm just going to try to, try to hold it up like this. So <clears throat> I'm just going to flip through them. They're beautiful. And they're cardstock. They're cardstock weight. <clears throat> not thin paper. Not that there's anything wrong with thin paper. Thin paper is easy to collage with, but. These are, um, so I'm just going to flip through them. If you have any questions or anything, put it in caps. <coughs> Lots of textures. And they might be upside down. Well, there's Mount Fuji, so this one's right side up. I might have flipped some of them. There's some bamboo. I might have flipped some of them, so I don't know. And they are kind of uh, attached because they still have a little bit of glue on the edge where I took them out of the I took them apart out of the pad. <clears throat> I can pay C and P. So they're just beautiful papers. Look at that right there. And there's the cover sheet. <clears throat> and this I will think this was on the back and this is on the front so this is the front of it Vagabond in Japan is the name of it so if y'all are looking for the specific uh, name of the, these papers <clears throat> Vagabond in Japan and there's our samurai Hi, Lorenzo. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My voice is just first thing in the morning when I first start talking to y'all. And I have to get my voice rolling here. <clears throat> so pretty. Pagoda. The little cut aparts. And I think these are eight by eight. I'm pretty sure. Maybe eight and a half. Did it say on there? Let's see. Does it say? Have to measure. Uh, yeah, eight by eight. They're eight by eight. Just so pretty. Little tags, which we can cut out and use. We can cut out and use some of these on the uh, rice papers. And the same for these little cut cutouts. So we'll probably use some of those in the journal. So there's that. Where's the, let me get the, that one. Let's see. Patricia, Rain. Anybody I'm missing? Good to see everybody. And then this is the 12 by 12. And there are 10 double-sided pages in this. And they I think they might be the same as the smaller one. And I gotta take that apart. There we go. So I might pull these. Look, they've got some little quotes. So these would be good in the journal. So I'll probably pull this and uh, this as well. This is just a larger version of that. So I'll pull these two to use in our project. Trying to show y'all as much as I can. 
Kelly G. Who else is here? Do I say hi to you, Arlene? I see you everywhere. I'm, I feel like I'm always saying hi to Arlene. <laughs> everywhere I go. Hi, Arlene. <laughs> the little gat about. And these are the, these are four by fours. No, five, yeah, six by six. These would be six by six. Mm. And then there's the dragons, the steampunk dragons, really cool looking. See? It's got the watch parts in it, which y'all know I love that. Almost need, yeah, one for each side. I know, Rachel, right? But, you know, most of the time I use parts of things. You know, I'm going to use, you know, I'm going to use the uh, rice papers. And even those I'm going to cut, you know, I'll cut down. But most of the time I don't use a full sheet because I don't really scrapbook anymore like in the traditional scrapbook sense where you use scrapbook papers. Um, I use this stuff for collage. So I'm more apt to cut things up anyway or use it in um, in some kind of a altered book, you know, where I would maybe tip in one of these pages. And here's some of those tags, which I will pull that to use today. And then here is some um, clock and watch parts. And then this. I love this. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so those are the 12 by 12 of the same as the 8 by 8. Okay. Then in that collection, I also got the um, 6 by 12. 6 by 12 sheets. So they're, they're the same motifs. And look, they show the back of them. See, that would be cool to put in a journal where you have the front and the back of him. Same thing for her. Isn't that cool looking? What is it, baby girl? I hear you. <clears throat> So again, these are all good to cut things out of. There's Tina. Hi, Tina. I know you should, Tina says she can only stop by for a little bit because uh, she has to take her mom to an appointment. So, And then look at the little tea sets and the cat, which, you know, I love that, especially since that looks like mine, <laughs> my two cats. And then the map. So I might use this one as well. All right. So that is the Stamperia Vagabond in um, Sir Vagabond in Japan. That's what it's called, Sir Vagabond. And then again, I'm going to use the tissue papers to glue into our journal, and we will art journal in that. Okay. So the other two things that I got were um, this one is the Studio Light, and it's Jane Jane. Uh, let me see. Where's my? So tiny. Uh, Jennings, J E N, Janine, J E N I N E, Janine's mindful, mindful collection. So tiny. Jeannie's, um, Janine's mindful art collection. And it's by Studio Light. So I'm going to just go ahead and flip this. I haven't taken these out of the, out of the pad. So there's like, I think there's two of each. <clears throat> I love these papers. <laughs> uh, they're so pretty. And again, guys, if you want to, you know, you can get them, uh, uh, you know, get them at Paint and Paper Studio, Xandra's shop. But she sells out. So <clears throat> when you see her post, follow her on Instagram and or Twitter so that when you see her post, um, that she has new stuff in the shop. You can run over there and get it. How'd you get it? I feel bad that afterwards. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're there for her, Tina. Yeah, nice portals. Yes, exactly, Rachel. Nice portals in this one. And it's all car stock, so, you know, you can cut these out fairly easy. 
you know, it's not real thin. So, yeah, look at that. Look at the different little woodsy scenes here. So they're just little elements, little elements. Then here's some um, vellum, vellum sheets with words. I might, maybe I might use a couple of these. Because y'all know I don't, I just don't really journal, journal in my art journals. If I'm going to journal and write, I have other books for that where it's journaling and maybe a little bit of decoration, but it's mostly if I'm writing, I'm writing. And if I'm art journaling, then I'm art journaling. And these are all vellum. And then here's some vellum butterflies. I see you down there, baby girl. So, then some music papers. And again, these are vellum. And then some text, some vellum text. So, that one again is Studio Light, Janine's mindful art collection mixed media mixed paper pad okay then the last one is this little um metal textures so and this is a six by six so i'll just flip let me let me just put it down here i think y'all can see it so i think there's th four was there three or four three of each So tiny. Just cannot even see that. 40 double sided, 20 designs. So there's two, I guess there's two of each. Okay. No, that's the same. No, there's got to be at least, there's got to be three of each. Two, three, four. There's four of those. One. Two, yeah, there's four of each. So they're just metal. Oh, it's flashing out. <clears throat> so these are good for backgrounds and collaging because it's just like a nondescript. Then you can go by color, you know. It's a baby girl. You're going to come over here? Oh, come on. Come on. Uh huh. You're going to talk to mama? Can't go over by the cords. That's as far as you can go. Can't go over to the cords. <laughs> yeah, it is. Tina, it is cool. Hi, Jane. Nettie. I know, baby. Let me let mama flip. <laughs> I see you. I see. okay, pets, pets. Yes, pets, pets. No, no, can't go over there. Don't try to sneak over there. Just cool textures. Yeah, the little cloud. <laughs> I know, I know, Rachel, right? <laughs> yes, my clouds. That's what uh, that's what Logan named them, my little clouds. So it is the Essential Craft Papers Craft Consortium 6x6 six six. Metal, metal textures. So those are the papers that I got. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this without moving the cat, but I'm going to use these, <laughs> these rice papers today. There's the wave. And I love the dry. So something like this, I'll just put it sideways in the book so I can use the full sheet. Same for this guy. And the, and well, I thought, no, I didn't get the girl. I don't think I bought the girl. I think I just bought the samurai. So... So we're going to do that, and then we'll use um, we'll use some of these cutouts in the in in the quotes. We'll use some of that. Plus, I took out some uh, cut out some watches, 
And uh, so, yeah, let's give this out of the way. Oh, yeah, yes, got it, babe. Yes, Rachel. I'll slide her over here in a minute. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get out some matte medium. So I have the big jars that Janet sent me for my birthday, but I pour them into these little jars because it's just easier to use. So this is what I use for all my collaging, gluing. Well, I don't say all my gluing. I use I'll use glue sticks and and um Eileen's tacky glue, but when I'm collaging where I want to, you know, paint over it and stencil over it, this is what I use. It's my golden matte medium. And uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to pour some of that out. Make sure you put some kind of plastic over the lid because otherwise you'll glue, you'll glue the lid to the jar. It's so easy to do that. So I'm going to pour some of this in here. Not too much at a time. You don't want to have it dry out. And uh, let's see here. Let me get a uh, glue brush. Cats have been over here, I can tell. <clears throat> okay. So my glue brushes are the only brushes that I keep in water. Get a couple baby wipes. And uh, we'll start gluing. <sighs> Let's see where we want to. I had one page. I had a couple. Well, I got a few here, but I had one back in here. This one. Let's go ahead and. Oh, I got a couple back here. Let's go ahead and fill this. Pay, these last three here. So you want to take a piece of wax paper, make sure that you uh, cover, put that in between because you don't want to glue your sheets together. You don't want to glue them together or, or glue your cat. So there we go. <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts. I'm not, I don't think it's going to last too long, but we'll see. See, she's going, what the? What? You make it difficult, girl. Okay, let's move the matte medium over here. Now that she's over there, let's go ahead and zoom in a little here. And make sure we have it light, but not too bright. All right, baby, you're going to have to get down. I know. I know you want mama's attention. I know. I know, but you're going to have to get down. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and get down. Come on. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. I got my, let's move this out of the way. Okay, and I'm on a board here that moves, so uh, I can adjust it to my uh, camera. How's that look? Does that look okay? Let's see. R Reef, uh, is, I forget. Is that, is that Rebecca Phil R. Philly? Did you change your name? I think that's a Rebecca. I think. Okay. So I got a little bit of. Do that. Okay, so let's see what we're going to start with. Let me move the leather out of the way here. And I think I want to start, let's do the, let's do a fan. So we get the scissors and I'm going to cut these down. And I, I think I'll do one here and then one on another page. So I can kind of do it like this and then do something over here like one of the uh, quotes or something like that over there. So the thing about going over, now I don't want to go over this because it's the string. You know, I don't want to go over that. I'm going to cut it. But if you do go over, if you do go over the center of your book, your chances that you're going to, after you open and close, open and close, open and close, it'll tear. 
So it's almost better just to go ahead and cut it so that you can just glue it in two pieces and just add some paint in there because it will tear eventually. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some gold in that medium down. And this is, uh, th this is thin, just like napkins. You can't really put it on the back and then flip it over. If it's any other kind of paper that you're collaging, you want to put it on the base, the back, and over the top. But these are, these are thin, and uh, so you can just put down the one layer. Okay, so then I'm going to go over the top, and then I'll gently take a card. <clears throat> so any kind of card here and just kind of smooth it out. Okay, I need a little bit more right there. And then just get out the wrinkles with a card like this. And if you still have a little bit of wrinkle, depending on your base paper, you might still have some wrinklage. And especially if you're using magazine images that are really thin, they'll um they can wrinkle easy too but you need to just mash it down with the card all right so now i'll do this side and always put more glue than you think you're going to need it just works out better so i'm going to try to get it fairly close there to the edge and remember we're going to paint in we'll paint everything in like on a couple of the samples that i showed you of the ones we're finished Okay, if y'all have any questions, put it in caps. And again, I'm going to smooth it down, and then we'll hit it with the heat gun. Hi, Lisa. Let's see. Did I say hi to Dawn? Anybody else? All right, so now I'm going to hit this with the heat gun so we can glue. I want to glue all the all of them down first, and we'll go back and feel, feel, figure out which ones we're going to uh, work on. <laughs> I don't know, Rachel, have you, have you tried, Rachel? <laughs> Those are badges of honor. And even if you think it's dry, it's, it is best to put, you know, some kind another piece of wax paper in there till you're a hundred percent sure. Matte golden matte medium will not stick your pages together as long as you make sure it's a hundred percent dry. Okay. Now, in in napkin journals, sometimes you'll hear it sounds like it's sticking, but it really what it is, it's the texture of the napkin, kind of like how Velcro does the texture of the napkin sounds like it's sticking, but as long as it's dry, you should be fine, okay? All right, so I'm gonna turn the page here and I'm gonna go on this one. And let's see what we wanna do here. Well, I guess I don't need this in here. I'm gonna put a protective sheet in there. All right, so the next one, I think I'll go ahead and do the dragon here with the watch so on like i said on these large ones like this and I, I some of them have done this way some have gone this way i don't know that it matters you're going to turn it sideways to work on it so um this will need to be trimmed down just a little and you can always trim down as well after you glue it down it's uh you know you can do it either way i'll just trim some off let's see if that'll be enough trimmage trimmage <laughs> <clears throat> all right let's see might have to trim it a little more okay we'll see all right and again this one this one is um what do you call it doesn't have a um cord there or anything i can go right over that if i want and some of them i did some of them i didn't it really is best not to glue it right over the top but i might do it on this one 
because it will wear out. It will wear out. All right, so let's see. That looks like that'll fit on that side. So let's see. I got to cut some off of this side. And again, I'm going to paint, paint it in later. Uh, yeah, I do too, Becky. I love this uh, watch dragon. I think I wanted him looking up. So we'll do it this way. All right, so this is going to be pretty much completely covered. So you're going to need a lot of, you know, and, and this paper is su sucking in the, the uh, glue. So it, you might even need a little bit more than you think. This paper is very absorbent. It just, you know, and feathers, if you put an ink on it without a base. All right, so let's go ahead and get this down. And again, make sure it's good in the center there. And then I'll just kind of fold it in half here. Fold it in half so I can get it right in the middle. Okay. okay. Go over the top. Whoops. And then with the, the matte medium over the top of this, when you go to put any paint uh, on it, you can uh, wipe things back because this puts like a coating on it so it's protected and the paint won't just feather right into your project you can remove it with a baby wipe if you you know well you can't do it after it's 100 percent dry but while you're working on it you can remove um you can remove paint okay i gotta get a little pour out a little bit more here a little bit more And it does dry clear. Golden is not sponsoring me. Although at one point I did get some um, free supplies from them about, I don't know, 10 years ago. <laughs> it was That was fun. All right, so let's see. I'm going to just mash this down. And you'll be picking up excess, so just kind of wipe that off. But be gentle. This, is, this paper's a little bit more... Uh, resilient than napkins but especially if you're doing this with napkins it's real easy to tear the napkins the rice paper is a little sturdier but you still want to be you still want to be careful with it okay okay let's go ahead and dry check chat Yeah. It was early on in my youth streaming that I, I asked for some golden supply. Well, I say golden supplies. All I asked for was matte medium. They had an artist program back then. They may still have it. I don't know. But this was 10 years ago. And uh, <laughs> they had an artist program where you filled out, you know, a questionnaire. And if you are either a teacher, a blogger, a vlogger, did YouTube videos, or in my case, you stream, you know, they would send you supplies um, to help you with your, you know, just to help you as art, artist help. And so they asked, well, what do you want? Do you want paint? Do you want brushes? Do you want this? Do you want that? I was, All I want, all I want was gold and matte <laughs> and they said you just pay for shipping and uh so they i got on the phone i was on the phone with them and you pay for shipping you know pay with the credit card and uh and they said it'd probably be about a week or two i forget how long it was so uh, uh a couple weeks later i got two big boxes i think there was 40 large jars bigger than this Bigger than this. It was the large ones. I think I got 20 in each. I think. I don't really remember. It's been so long. I think it was a total of 40 jars of matte medium. And I have since used every smidgen of that. Of course, that was, and years ago. 
So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a while back. <laughs> Darlene, what kind of uh, book did you use to make your napkin journal? And dry the back side helps as well. Lorenzo, S-O-I-C stands for Society of Ideal Collectors. And if you go on Instagram, but put the whole wor world, the whole world, put the whole world, Society of Idea Collectors, hashtag Society of Idea. You have to put out the whole world, the word, because I think a school is S-O-I-C, their, their um, initials for their school. So it, if you just put an S-O-I-C in uh, Instagram or hashtag it, it's, it comes up with something else. So you have to type in the whole thing. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, Jane and Darlene, there's a few of y'all that post quite a bit in there. And I haven't given y'all any um, assignments. We, I stopped using the word homework, <laughs> uh, you know, since before, you know, I left uh, to for mom. But um, we'll, we'll try to get back into it again. And then I, I found out, you know, I have jury duty on the 27th, but um, Hubs, some, one of the girls at work, that works with Hubster is um, she got called for jury duty on the same day and they called her and said that they're not because of COVID not doing, doing it. So I haven't got that call yet. So I'm not sure if I will have jury duty or not, or if I'll get a call saying we're not doing it right now. We're not doing cases. I don't know. Um, so we'll see on that. But uh, let me go over here to Instagram and let me put in society. Hashtag. Society. Okay. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Hang on. I got to fix it. I... Yeah. Sometimes it just finishes it for me, but this time it didn't. Okay. All right. Let me go to recent. So let's see who's posted some recent. So um, Jane's been posting these different, um, and I'm not sure if she's doing a class or, or let me see, a mixed media... I'm not sure what she's doing. She's, I mean, why she's doing these, but she has a whole bunch of these faces that you see. I haven't, I've missed some of these. I haven't even got that one. So um, I, think I missed that one. So Jane's been posting a lot over there. And then let's see, here is um, Artist for Life, Darlene. And she did this Zentangly looking like a doodle it looks like a doily it's very intricate look at look at this guys look at the intricacy look at the intricacy of that so yeah y'all have to go over there and look and then let's see here um peggy um this was from one of the assignments ancient civilizations was the assignment and um she did um she did one of their symbols it looks kind of like mayan which one yeah mayan the Mayan feathered serpent deity. So she did that. And let's see, there's quite a few things over there, guys. So go over there. It's society of idea collectors, all one word. Okay. So let's see. I know, right? Jane's, Jane's been on it. Okay. So I think that's dry, but let's just, let's just put something between it to make sure until we get done here. All right. Next. I'm trying to do, all right, here's the last one in this little section. 
I'm trying to kind of, I'm trying to fill, trying to fill the book. All right, let's see what we can do next. I like the wave, I have the wave here. So let's go ahead and cut some of this down. So I'm going to cut this top off here so it'll fit. But what I'm going to do is cut the wave down here. And I don't have to be too neat about it because I'm going to paint it in, right? It's going to be painted in. So let's go with that. And then maybe let's use this piece here as an edge. I think I want it this way, like that. Okay, and I have this little piece left. All right, so let's cut this down. This is my collage. All right, so again, I don't recommend going over the ditch because you open and close, open and close it. It will eventually tear. So, um, as, you know, some of them I do it, some of them I don't, depending on what's there. If there's a space, there's six signatures here. So if it's a signature, you know, if it's um, if it's a, a signature break, then obviously I won't do that. Let's see. Can Jerry do you for? <laughs> yeah, I don't. yeah, hopefully not, uh, Tina. So, so we'll see if I get a call saying they're canceling, because like I said, the girl that, uh, one of the girls that Hubster works with, she got called for the exact same day as I did, and they canceled it. So I'm thinking, well, if they canceled one person, they're not going to say, oh, well, because of COVID, we're going to cancel your jury duty, but not, <laughs> not everybody's, you know? So I don't know. We'll wait and see. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. And again, I'm putting quite a bit on here because this paper is sucking up the matte medium. And so it's almost like you have to put a double layer over it. And I am putting quite a bit because I want it to stick. I want it to stick well. Alrighty. All right, so let's put the wave. And let's get it right in the... Okay. So I'm going to finish gluing all those, all my rice, new rice papers in, and then we'll go in and paint and stencil and decorate and just have fun with the art journal. And, you know, I get questions and, and not just me, but a lot of art journals get the question, well, what do you do with it? I mean, why are you just gluing pretty papers down and just putting a quote? Well, it doesn't have to be. Your art journal is for your, you know, your pleasure and you what you think is pretty and what you like, whether you put words on it, journaling spots on it, or or just papers and nothing else. If that's what you like, you know, it's your art journal. You don't don't let people make you feel bad because you don't do it their way. You do it, you do what you you do it how you like, what makes you happy, what you think is pretty. It doesn't have to have a purpose. You know, you don't have to have everything posted on IG. I don't think I've posted not one single one of these on Instagram. Um, you know, you, it, it just doesn't have to, you don't have to do that. All right, I'm going to pour out a little bit more. The cases are being, I tries and lots are being postponed until everything opens up. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if, uh, what I'm, well, of course, you know, you don't know what case you're going to get till they, interview you know talk to you and they ask you questions and what about this and of course we had to fill out an online we had to fill out an online questionnaire you know have you ever had a bad experience with the police and you know question they ask ask you a lot of questions all right what that here it is they ask you a lot of questions um prior to you even going you know but then they'll, depending on what the case is. But my point is, is if they're canceling cases on that day, <laughs> it seems like they would cancel all of them, not just some of them, if they're really worried about, you know, virus. But okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and dry that. But, you know, Tina, I don't, I don't mind going. Now, do I want to be there for weeks or months? And I don't think that's going to happen because they're not going to, they're not going to, you know, uh, sequester you during a, during a 
You know what I mean? So I don't think that's going to happen, but I really don't mind. I really don't mind. You know, if, if, if everybody said, well, I don't want to do it, then what would we'd never have any jury trials. So I don't know. I don't mind too much. I'll take art. And uh, that's what I did the last two times. I've had jury duty. I took a sketchbook and worked on some, um, worked on some drawings and things. So I'll bring something to do. It'll be close to Inktober. So I might take my sketchbook that I'm going to use for Inktober and sketch out some things. Yeah, Juanita, Juanita she spins and goes uh, with yarn, with a bag of yarn in tow. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see, do I have any more back here? I thought I had one. I got one. Maybe this fan. That fan would go with her. So I think I'll just go ahead and glue this fan in here on this last page. So I hope y'all are working on some stuff of your own while we're chatting. And it is a chat show. Don't email me. Don't, don't, uh, don't email me and leave me a comment. You talk too much. People still do it, but, you know, <laughs> I always tell you it's a chat show. If you don't like chatting, you don't want to hear me talk to people and say hi to everybody in the morning, then my show is probably not for you, and that's okay. That's why there's millions of YouTube videos. Hi, Trisha Green. How you doing? Let's put some more on here, especially on the edges there. And we will put this fan down. Got to get a little bit more. The, the, pay, the page is rolling because we're toward the back. So let's go ahead and make sure we get that glued in there really well. And speaking of different ways to journal... You know, I've shown y'all many, many hundreds of my journals, but um, if you like to do planners and keep, you know, that kind of uh, journal, Janet last week did a uh, work, drew um, like a daily drawing in her, she calls her planner the beast. And uh, she did some awesome drawings in her uh, beast last Monday, not this m past Monday, but the Monday before. She did, uh, she did awesome uh, drawings in her. So if you like having little drawings and, you know, put little stickers and little decorations on your dailies, um, Janet gives you some good ideas on that. I don't keep a daily. And um, let's see, I tore that a little bit there. Got to be careful. But <clears throat> got a little bit of excess glue in there. There we go. All right. Oh, if I want to hire you to go decorate on the imagine. Oh, well, I used to do, you know, I used to do visual merchandising for department stores. And that's what I did, you know, decorating them, you know, room settings and all that, plus all the mannequins. That was back when mannequins were like a thing where there was like, you know, you'd have hundreds of man mannequins in the store. Now, I don't even know if they use mannequins anymore in, in department stores, really, you know. She does, Tina. Janet got skills.
<laughs> Jan, you can say that again. Well, the thing about doing visual merchandising, it keeps you in shape because we, we measured it a couple of different times and we averaged walking in a nine hour day. We averaged 10 miles a day, walking 10 miles a day in three stories of, of, a, of a department store, three stories because our workstation was on the third floor. And uh, so we would average 10 miles a day walking. Yeah. You walk all day long, all day. It's like walking for nine hours. Well, eight, if you take, you know, take a 30 minute lunch. <laughs> ever uh, but yeah it uh, was a lot I was younger then <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'd walk 10 miles a day now but uh, <laughs> okay so now let's see and I, again I want to I really want to put uh, just until it's a hundred percent dry because I don't want it sticking you know as long as it's a hundred percent dry golden matte medium is really good about not sticking your pages together but I can still feel it's just a little damp so I'm going to go ahead and I'll get some more wax paper out. I want to go ahead and put something in between until it's 100% dry. Okay, like this. It's got a little, it's still, if it's cold to the touch, then it's not dry. Okay, it's and it's still cold. So you want to make sure. Let's go ahead and cut some of these up and then I'll get some more fresh wax paper. And that, I think that's all the new I have. Okay, so now we're going to go back over here. I still have, I think this is about all I have left are these pages right here. I'm pretty sure we've got everything else filled. Oops. Oh, there's a page. There's a couple pages. Oh, I still have a few pages left. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and do here then because I kind of have the Asian papers, the Japanese papers toward this back section. So I've got, let's see, I've got this guy left. I've got the koi fish left. So I've only got these two left. So let's go ahead and get them done. And again, do I want him facing this way? I think so. All right. So I'm going to make sure I don't cut off his sandals there. And I'll cut some of this top part off. But what I can do is this little strip right here with the, uh, what's this called? A keys. Oh, there's a name for that design. A key something, I think. Uh, we'll put that on the edge. So let's go ahead and cut some of this map off here. I have to cut some of the sword down there. And uh, like that. And then we can use a little bit of that border if we want to on the edge. I don't know if it needs it, but we have it. All right, so let's go ahead. i got to pour out some more. I mean, two more to go. Great key. Thank you, Kalora. I know it's something key. <laughs> Greek key. Yeah, the Greek key. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have to, I have to get my big uh, Janet jar out and fill this up again because it's almost empty. All right. So let's go ahead. And again, you really want to put, if you're going to go over the ditch, you really want to make sure you got a lot right there, but you also got to make a hundred percent sure that that's dry because that does take a little bit more to dry in the, in the ditch there. And you don't want to glue your pages together in the ditch. So be patient while you do it. Try to go all the way as far down to the edge as I can. Oh, you know what? I didn't put a piece of wax paper behind this one here. Let's go ahead and do that. Because it's easy to glue the pages together if you slop it over the edge. So... And this paper is just absorbing the matte medium. Mm 
Okay. Let's go ahead and fold it in half. Get it right in the middle. Okay. anything going on nobody's saying nothing in caps so again guys if y'all have any questions or anything and we're going to get out some paint and stencils and some of the cutouts from the paper pad if y'all missed it i showed the paper paper haul i bought from zandra at the beginning of the show so y'all go back and watch all the all these papers that i'm using i did a flip of them so okay this this edge is getting a little rough so i'm going to turn it over on the other side and really, I've got tons of these cards. So once they start getting glue edges that are rough, you just throw them away. You know, any kind of, you know, gift cards or Amazon or Apple cards. Okay. So now let me go ahead and get a little bit of that excess off in the middle there. Okay. All right, let's dry. Hope it's not too flashed out. Let me maybe turn down the brightness just a tad. A little better, maybe. I don't like to get it too dark, but I don't like it to be too flashed out either. It's a little truer to color, though. Yeah, right, because the paper's so thin, you know, it's it's translucent. So when you add, you know, when you glue it down, the colors really stand out. So let's see. Let's put this piece of paper in there. It's got a little bit of I'm gonna glue that. And then let's see. I got one more with the fish. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, I think I'm going to go this way with it so we can kind of get the whole fish. Well, maybe it'll fit this way. Okay, so let's do it on this side. I haven't done much on this side. Okay, so let's cut this down. And he can go right there. And then like that. And again, I'm not worried about cutting this neat or anything because I'm going to paint. It's all going to be painted in. <clears throat> all right, so let's go ahead. Last one, then we'll start doing some pages. I'll do a little quick flip again of the book so you can see kind of where we're heading in doing the pages. So what's everybody else working on this week or going to do this next weekend? Any plans or anything? Or is school starting? Is that the, is that the end of the summer for some of y'all or? Now that school is, uh, well, some schools, I don't know about all schools, but some schools are back. Okay, so let's get right down there like this. I need a little bit more right here. Okay. Hi, CB. Anybody else I miss coming in? A 
kind of got a little bit of a we're just um i'm gluing down my collection of uh new collection of rice papers that i bought from zandra i just like them all in this book i'll have to show you though i did do a couple and i know i've shown them before but using some of these rice papers, I made some big, giant, oversized poster books to put um, faux ephemera and stuff in. And uh, I thought about doing a whole bunch more of them. But then I said, well, I really like all the papers and I kind of want them all in one book. So that's when I decided from then on out that I would just use this little book here for pretty napkins and my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Stamperia tissue papers and just make them into a little art journal rather than the giant ones. But I'll show you some of the giant ones while this is kind of setting for a minute. Okay. All right, let me hit this with the heat gun. <clears throat> Yeah, I have the napkins and the tissue paper in this book. Or the rice paper, rather. All right, so I'm going to let this sit. I think I'm going to work on this one. Um, so now that I'm done with gluing for a minute, I'm going to go ahead and put my glue brush back in the water. The only brushes that I keep in water. Get some more. Oh, both the babies are laying here on the floor. So sweet. My little clouds. My little clouds. Okay. All right. Oh, there's my, and if y'all didn't see, I don't think I showed the paint and paper studio. That's Sandra's. That's where I bought all the papers that I showed earlier and the ones I'm working on. Yeah, napkins are great. And I also, I did want to glue these in somehow. Sandra had cut these out out of a uh, uh, Somerset Studio magazine. So those are going to need to go in there too, just because they go. All right, so let me just... Um, Make sure this is all cleaned up here. And um, I want to get some of the, the... The thing about matte medium, it is a little tricky to get off your hands. I usually have to use fingernail polish remover. But I do have a craft scrubby, one of the old... Um, I don't know if they make them anymore. The, you know, Tim Holtz's is uh, the craft scrubbies. That really works good to get it off. But, all right, let's see if I can reach up here and get these books. Oh. There we go. Okay. So let me back out because they're big. <clears throat> okay. All right. So these I made out of poster board. Let me set this to the side because it's still wet. These I made out of poster boards. Let me start with the Japanese one first and um, and they are you know the poster boards like the kind of post let me I say I can zoom in one the kind of poster boards you get like school poster boards you know and they are they're I think oh, except for one let me get my ruler here they're all the same let me get my ruler going the right way my clear ruler so they are about Ten and a half by fourteen and a half. So it's like ten and a half by fourteen and a half. And this is those Stamperia papers. And I used them as the inspiration to make these pocketed folios to put uh, ephemera in. 
So if you just have, you know, a certain limited, you know, I do collage all the time. So I've got tons of collage fodder. But if you have limited collage fodder, you can make one of these for different themes. You could do one with animals, one with people, one with Asian. You know, I did this one. I did a uh, Leonardo da Vinci. And so I have different ones that I made. Um, but poster board. Yeah, science project. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, that's what they are. So I just made pockets and then like this right here is napkins. And if you want to, if you like your napkin images, like the, um, what do you call it? The, like the flowers or, or whatever that is on a, on a pretty decorative napkin. Oh, here, let me show you one. Like Xander sent me this one. So rather than trying to cut this out, on the napkin and then trying to use it what you need to do is glue this down onto a piece of cardstock and then cut it out okay and that's what i did here so these all these are on cardstock all these flowers that i've cut out here from napkins i glued them down on a piece of cardstock and then cut them out and then i outlined them all with gold glitter so um then here's some little uh, ribbon rose ribbon and then there's all just kinds of pockets and then I just put some of like here's a napkin and I just have some of the different um, papers and ephemera tucked in the pockets right so you can use it that way and then I made a frame in each one as well this is just black acrylic paint gold um, gold stickles and pearl essence and uh so yeah so there's the cut and then i cut out the little branch there so it has a little branch okay and then this is gold paint with uh, the dots are the pearl liquid pearls and you got to make sure all this dries really well before you close your book and then again here's one of the stamperia papers and then more of the little faux ephemera so you can make this you can make these to um hold your ephemera or just because you like it and it's pretty it doesn't have to be for anything right so uh, there's that and then the next one is this one and then these are some of those um foamies the foamies stamped um and then i just stamped that and then outlined it all with gold and then some here's some more napkin pieces and some more of that ribbon that rose trim ribbon and then i just have different little things tucked in here and more different so you just all kinds of bookmarks and papers and rice papers and napkins and just things that that go and then this right here is another one of the stamperia um papers right there okay and then there's this one. This one's got a card in the back. This is one of the Stamperia rice papers. And then these are just cut out of napkins. They're glued. The flower, the napkins are glued onto cardstock and then cut out. And then I edge them with gold paint. So, yeah. So that one. Then... Again, this one was the Stamperia papers as well. And it's kind of a little eclectic look because it's got some of the nature wolf things, but I also threw in unicorns. <laughs> so this one's a little, this one's a little eclectic. Yeah, the folios. Yeah, folios, Janet. Folios. Bye, Arlene. Sleep well. Nap well. I'm sure, sure you'll be around at 2 in the morning somewhere oh my gosh so again it's made out of the poster board what i did is i i put pop dots on this so that this piece kind of stands out so i can show there you go see it's got the pop dots under there and then it's just got some of the different little um cutouts and the the little chipboard elements that came with the those paper sets okay so then here again i've got a frame I did space, I did unicorns and butterflies, <laughs> just a little of everything. And again, it's got all the different little elements in here. I even put some of the stickers that I kept on the card there. And then it's got some little, just little cutouts. It's got like the owls and the wolves and the little cut-aparts there. 
and then just some different other stickers you know some little just a little every this one's a little eclectic like i said all right so then there's the frame and uh on this side <clears throat> And then in here, so again, lots of little, lots of little um, pieces and pockets. And this is just some inked papers. This was a napkin. This was some trim, little unicorn stickers. Uh, you can use anything you want. Then these papers were um, a pad of papers uh, from Michael's, um, the six, four by six papers. So I just picked out some of my favorite ones, and they're, they're in there. So just all kind, you can just put whatever. And then, of course, I make my own little rag flags with just pieces of ribbon or fabric uh, tied onto paper clips. And, yeah. So that's, that's what this is. And there's the back. <clears throat> yeah, Galaxy Fantasy Folio. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> and then this one is my Leonardo one. And uh, so I have these little faux leather uh, hinges from way back when. Then this is just a little metal uh, compass and a little metal pieces left over from the scrapbook days. Right. So and this one's my Leonardo da Vinci one. Again, these are pockets made, these are made with napkins. And then some little, um, these were part of, these little uh, label things were part of the uh, paper pack. And I just put some copper around it and put some gold. And then there's Leonardo. This is out of uh, one of the sketchbook, Leonardo sketchbooks books. I've got a whole bunch. Of, I bought a bunch of them on clearance. So I use that. And then, then just different papers, Stamperia papers, or maybe Chow Bella. I'm not sure. And then here's the frame that I put around Mona there. Some tags and some little steampunk and clocks and watches and some little metal little metal pieces there and uh, pockets some tags and then oh and then this is a trim this is a gold uh ribbon trim that i had you had to glue down every single one of those leaves to make it flat and then all this is liquid pearls um liquid pearls so it's dimensional you probably can't tell but all that's dimensional pearls right there and again oh, let's move the tag so you don't cover up leonardo's face there we go so it's framed so mona's framed this way and this then this is a little mirror piece and uh, all the all the dots are liquid pearls and then again this is some faux leather paper i think Artie dar made this paper years ago and uh, so i made pockets out of it some different pieces out of his sketchbooks that I just put in there. And uh, there, here's the Stamperia uh, label. I just kept that so I would remember what papers it was. And then I made little doors. Here's the Last Supper there. And um, so I made little doors there. And the same thing over here, there's a little door. So I just continued the, the Last Supper over on two different doors. And uh, then all kinds of steampunk uh, cut out, cut aparts there. And then these are brads, little uh, brads. Did you just glue some poster boards? Yes, it's, yeah, it's, it's poster boards glued together. Well, cut down. Like one poster board made this. So you cut it down because there's only four, pa well, there's six, I think there's six pages. Well, three pieces. So... Yeah, you can make it any size you want. If you want it bigger, you can make it even bigger, you know, with two poster boards. Then this was just uh, how I showed, I did a little demo one day on how I did the faux wood. It's not showing up very well, the light. But uh, how I did a faux wood thing here for this background. So I just tucked that in there. And then these are little napkins, uh, olive, olive trees, and then... On the inside here is some more of the Leonardo sketchbook. This is these these are from actual book. 
these aren't the papers. This Now, this is the leftover papers here of the Stamperia papers. And then just different tags and things that, you know, the cut-aparts here. Oh, this was some books. So then I made these little mini books. <laughs> I made some little mini books with the um, parchment paper. And I just inked it and made a little slap here. So I made these little books like this. And then folds up. And so I made two of those. One for each side here. And then a little envelope here. And another tag. And so, yeah. That. And um, these paintings. And then the back here. And a little Leonardo da Vinci what do you call it, a name tag. Yeah, and with the faux, um, I put brads in it to hold it, but uh, it's, that's just some paper um, hinges with brads in them and the metal there. So I did that. And then the last one I did was just the cover that I made over a stack of paper. So this is just like some Bristol board. A, a pad of Bristol board and I made the cover of this to make it and this is the old stained glass like the Dover the old Dover parchment um trans translucent not even parchment I don't think it's just translucent paper it's, it's made to look like stained glass and I think the book is called stained glass and you color it in and then it's translucent right um so I made all these strips here of cardstock so it's very dimensional to see there but all these are individual strips and they're uh, pop dotted on to make it look like that. And then with the stained glass window in the middle, kind of cathedral-esque looking. And it's all painted black and silver. So, And it's just like I said, this is just a stack of uh, Bristol in there. So those are some of the big uh, uh, folios that I made using some of the uh, Stamperia papers. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you. How you doing? Happy birthday, Ruth. I think next weekend, right? Next weekend's your birthday. Happy birthday early. Okay, so let's go back to the, our little journal here. And I'm just going to take a second again just to flip real quick so you can see they're in different stages. But this is how it ends up. So here's uh, some of the Stamperia paper, Stamperia paper, and then some different cards. And this, I just made this in my, like a little name tag at the beginning. Here's some lace up there and uh, stenciling, you know, little word cards, journaling cards. And so here now I can stencil. I could stencil here or I could add some journaling tags or whatever I want. So I'm just going to kind of flip through so you can kind of see. This is one of the Stamperia papers. Some are napkins and then there's stencils. Like this is just a, a paper out of one of the flow books or something. And then this is a this is one of the Stamperia, Stamperia flow book. I say flow book. It's, I just mean some one of those type of paper books, right? I don't know if it's actually flow. We did this one on a stream, and it's um, it's got the uh, it's got the Stamperia paper, and then we stenc painted and stenciled, and then the dots, and just a little um, journaling spot there. <clears throat> So you start like this, you know, it starts like this, then you paint, then you add things to it. So they're in different stages. But I really love the Stamperia paper, so I said, I'm just going to go ahead and make a journal with those in there. And then some napkins. And, uh, of course, it'll fill up and Stamperia will keep making papers. <laughs> You can see it's just got different stages of, uh, of uh, if there was leftover pieces. There's the girl there, the steampunk girl. I really wish I would have made her looking up the other way, but that's okay. So here's what I'm talking about where the 
signatures break. There's six signatures in here. This You definitely do not want to glue over that because that's going to wear out real quick if you had a piece of paper glued right over that so where the signatures meet up. Oh, thank you, Rachel. But I just love these papers. I love these rice papers. So here's a few sheets where we have some space for the next batch. <laughs> right there. And uh, yeah, so we, we did we did a lot of these on stream. Um, I didn't I didn't show you gluing every single one of these down like today. <clears throat> or I showed you gluing quite a few of them down. I glued some of them off stream. Here's a couple as one sheet there. Um, but I wanted to get those glued in. So just so you can kind of see. It's just a fun way to then whenever you just feel like throwing down some paint or some of your cutouts or some of your quotes. Where's the quote one? <clears throat> like these, you know, or just make your own little quotes or journaling spots and then put those on, glue those on top. That's a napkin. Napkin. This was a napkin. We did this one on stream a couple months ago. Um, these girls were both on there. Uh, or was it two different napkins or were they both on one? I can't remember. But I put both of them on there. And I just put adventure and discover. Little word, uh, word fetty on there. And uh, then the rest is paint and dots and, you know, painted in. Uh, some butterfly stickers. Some of my Trisha Green butterfly stickers. So this was a napkin. And then we, it just, it, the way I painted the background, it just kind of had the shape of the butterfly. I don't remember if I did that on purpose or it just worked out that way. So I made a big butterfly on that one. Napkins. And then here's where we left off. And they're still a little cold. It's cold, so it means it's not, not dry yet. So let me go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to start painting in. So it's cold to the touch. That means it's not dry. So you want to keep some wax paper in there until it's it's dry. Okay, I can still work on it with the paint and stuff, but you don't want to, you don't, you want to keep something in between it till it's dry. You can keep drying it with your heat gun. I think I'm going to work on this one next. Okay, I got a little bit of glue on the edge there. So I have a couple of sheets here that are uh not anything done now. But see, you got a little bit of glue on the edge. So let's just kind of get those pulled apart. So I still have a few sheets here. So I still have quite a bit of space to put some more in. And then that was a napkin here. And uh, this was one of the Stamparia <clears throat> papers. And then back here is where we left off from gluing today. This one. The dragon. The wave. And I think that's all. Do I have any more? A little bit of glue there. Oh, and then I added this fan. She was already in here. And that page is blank. So let's go ahead and do this fish. So I need a couple more pieces of wax paper. Okay, so let's see. Let's cut this in half. All right. So we'll work on this fish. Not going to do too much, you know. Um, uh, I don't know. I say that we never know really where it's going to end up. All right. So I know I'm going to want black and maroon and probably gold. So let's see. I do have some gold sitting out here. I think I have some gold out. I'm going to have to dig some out. Hang on. Let's see. Okay, here's some gold. Some of the. Um, Splendid gold. I think there's a little bit of that left in there. I got another jar of this or bottle of this somewhere, but that's the uh, Deco Art Splendid Gold. So we'll use that and some black and some maroon. Well, I don't want to forget I got my copper too. I love the bronze. 
I love that color. I think I want gold on this one, but we we'll might use the bronze on the other one. Um, let's see. Here's some um, deep burgundy. All right, so we're going to go with this. All right, so let's get a, another So I'm going to start by just getting down some paint and then maybe some stencil. We'll get out. Um, let's see. I have this little pack of the small stencil. A lot of larger stencils too. Buy these small ones so we can do a little bit of stenciling. Just throw a little bit of everything on there. And uh, I'm not true. Oh my gosh, Julia. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Always shake up your paints because they do separate if you don't use them after, for a while. And uh, a lot of times I like to use just, I like to blend with my fingers. So I'll probably do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and do, um, let's make sure I have some baby wipes so handy. I got some baby wipes. So what I'm going to do, and this is all dried acrylic. You can even... If you don't if you don't like it there you can peel it peel it up but it doesn't bother me just to layer it up all right so i'm going to take the black and first let's just go ahead this is why you want to make sure you have wax paper behind and so i'm just going to kind of blend and because it's covered with golden matte medium i can blend now if you don't want to use your fingers you can use a baby wipe and you can remove and blend because it's got the golden matte medium on it right but I just like getting in there with my fingers. So. so let's just blend the softness of edges. So I'm going to put black all the way around. And again, do a little soft blend. And you got to keep moving to a clean place on the baby wipe or you'll just be... You'll just be um, smearing the paint rather than softening it. So, kind of like that. Mary, thank you so much, Mary, for the super chat. How are you doing? I have been watching some of your videos, Mary. I just haven't been able to be there um, live. So, good to see you, Mary. Don't follow Mary, you know. she's I, I, I call her the Society of Idea Collector Queen because... I don't think anybody comes up with more ideas from for the Society of Idea Collectors than Mary. Uh, I could be wrong, and she'll say, oh, no, no, but yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mary, for supporting the channel. All right, so I want to get some of that off his face there. Okay. So thank you, Mary, so much for the super chat. Very sweet. I know, right, Shelly? Isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's just go ahead and keep blending here. Blending and softening so it kind of fades. I might do some uh, some kind of a wispy cloud thing going through. What is it, baby? I hear you down there. <laughs> Are you talking to me? You don't you want you think I'm talking to you when I'm talking? Am I just sitting here talking to you? Is that what you think? Okay, so now we got that done on the edges. And just keep kind of softening it. You can do it until it really starts to dry. Then you get, there's only a certain amount that you can really um, remove the paint. Okay, something like that. All right, now, what do I want to do with, do I want to go ahead and stencil some, I think I want to stencil red and the gold. All right, so I'm going to get some fresh baby wipes. We go through the baby wipes, don't we, little princess? Hmm? All right, so let's just get some of the excess paint off here, and let's see. I'm going to... I'm gonna, Hubster always makes fun of me when I say something like, I'm gonna, or I'm a go, I'm a go, I'm gonna. <laughs> All right, so let's see. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, I like this because it has a wave effect. What else? That one's a little big, but it's kind of a good fish. Maybe I'll do... Hmm, I don't know. I'm kind of really liking that. 
See, a lot of these are, will go well with an Asian, Japanese themed. I'm just flipping through here looking at the different stencils. I think I'll just go with one or two of these. All right, so let's see. I think I'll go with some maroon with the larger one and then some gold waves. So what you do when you're stenciling is you want to use a makeup wedge or some kind of sponge, but you have to make sure it's dry. Don't use a damp sponge. So if you use this, like I'm going to use it with maroon and I have to rinse it out, don't use it while it's damp. Get you another dry sponge because if you use a wet sponge, or even a damp sponge, it's going to seep up underneath, right? So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead with the maroon. Again, dry sponge and just tap it out. Don't need a whole lot. And I'm just going to kind of go around and just get, and, and I'm not trying to get an exact pattern here. I'm just trying to get a design going around the edge and it's hard to see all right so that got a little thick right there so i'm going to back that off a little and i just want to get a little bit of the maroon over the black it's not going to you're not going to see a lot i'll hold it up no uh, i just want uh that as the under color before i put on the gold so you can kind of see so it's just got a little bit of the maroon going around because I'm going to put gold on top of this. I'm going to dry it first, but I'm going to put. I just want a little bit of pattern around the edge. Just a little bit of pattern, maybe a little more right there. And a little right there. A little up here. Okay, and then I'll probably edge it with gold as well. Let's get a little bit more right. Okay, so now I just got a little bit of maroon in there. Now I'm going to drop this sponge in my water bucket over here and get another sponge. I'll clean the sponges. Yes, Janet, I'll clean the sponges after I'm done. Okay, here's a little piece of one. It's dry, okay? Now I'm going to get out some gold. <laughs> Shaking, especially metallics, you want to really make sure they're shaken. Okay, so let's, let's get a little bit of gold there. All right. Oh, let me dry this with a heat gun. So now I want these waves. So I'm going to want the waves to really kind of show up. So I'm going to kind of be more picky about where they go. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just going to have them kind of go. I'm not really trying to match them so much as I just want them all going the same direction. Have some coming out further than the others. I didn't mean to pull that paper out. Okay. Oops. Okay. There you go. You see that? Showing up pretty good. 
All right, I'm going to keep going. Kind of get it down here in the ditch. see I'm really tapping off a lot of the paint so it's not blobby it's very thin on the sponge Be careful not to cover up the little fish's face. So let's go around his eye there. And just a little bit on the top. There we go. All right. I'm going to try to move this for a minute. So there we go. Only D can make a fish. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of the gold paint on my finger. And I'm going to kind of go around the edges here. Give it a little bit of a gold border. You don't have to do this, but I feel like I want a little extra gold on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do... I was going to do like some kind of a wave going through, but I don't think it needs it with this gold. So I'm just going to kind of run my finger around the edges there. I'm going to turn it so I can kind of get a straight line here. I'm not trying to make it an outline like Janet with a ruler. I'm just trying <laughs> Sorry, Janet, I had to say that. I'm just running it like just kind of a rough edge of gold around the edge here. <laughs> and then I'll hit it with the heat gun. And then we'll add some decorative, you know, quote or something from the cut aparts that came in the paper pad, pad pack which I showed all that earlier. So if you missed seeing the stacks of paper that I got from bought from Xander's shop, then go back later and watch the watch the um, replay or you know scroll back. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and dry this. Needs a little more drawing, but I'm not turning the page yet. All right, so now I'm going to go over here to some of these cut aparts. Maybe do I like one of the girls here? I kind of like her, but I also like some of these quotes. Oh, I like this. Your mind is your best weapon with the girl. We'll go with that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut her out. Cut her out, maybe one of the steampunk circles here. Let's get one of those. And then I like that your mind is your best weapon. All right. Now, let 
me get the smaller scissors and trim them down. Oh, let's see. Serene color book just got, oh, yay. Is that, is it Rebecca? R-F-L or F-L-I? Is that Rebecca Philly? I forget your last name, but I think it's Rebecca. I'm glad you got your serene. All right, so I'm trimming this down, and then I'm going to edge these with gold, too. And, you know, if you were doing this, I, I don't like to make too much pop dot stuff in a journal. Um, I mean, I have a couple uh, specific journals that I add fabric to the edges and stuff like that. But it makes it difficult when you when you are a journaler that doesn't do a completed page before you go to the next one, that if you have um, pop dotted elements throughout, then you're working on like you know, puffy pages. It's a little hard to do. So I really don't like to um, dimensionalize them too much in a journal like I did in the, uh, you know, I dimensional dimensionalize them in the uh, poster board journals because I'm not really working in those. It was more for collecting ephemera rather than, you know, journaling in it. So I don't mind those being three-dimensional, but for the most part, I don't do dimensional. Like I used to do a lot of dimensional stuff in my scrapbooks, but not in my these kind of journals where I'm going to go from page to page, working some and then going back. And so, and when you cut things out, it's best to move the element rather than your scissors. You can get more. Um, precise cuts when you move the piece rather than the scissors. So you just kind of hold your scissors still and just kind of do that and move the piece. And you'll get more of a precise cut. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sponge here that still has the gold on it and I'm just going to go ahead and edge. I'm going to go ahead and edge gold round. Just a tiny, tiny bit. You can't really see it too much, probably not on camera. But there's just going to be a little slight gold edge around all the dimensionals. Let's see. Okay, and I'll dry them. And again, this is the Deco Art Splendid Gold, which is probably the brightest gold. And we'll make a little cluster here. And you could add, you know, if you like dimensionals, you could add some metallic things and some other dimensional things, depending on what you're working in. If it's a journal like this where you're going to be working back and forth and forth, you don't want to get it too fat or too dimensional because then when you go to work on this page, you're going to be fighting a metal piece or something, right? All right, so let me go ahead and dry each one. add some stickles to it something like that but if you're going to do that make sure it's the last thing you do in your journal because you'll you'll want to leave it sit out overnight let me grab some. so whether you use stickles or liquid pearls um if you do any of this kind of stuff in your journals you want to just make sure that that's the last thing you're going to work on over and set it aside overnight all right so let's see here Something like this, I think. Okay. 
Or do I want her that from behind? No, I kind of want it over the top. Something like that. I kind of like that. Or I could do that and put this over here. Yeah, I kind of like it in a cluster. All right, so what I'm going to do to glue these down is just use my Eileen's Tacky Glue. Because um, I'm not going to be painting anymore or anything like that on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and... And when you use Tacky Glue... I want it quite thick because this is textured, so it's going to take a little bit more glue. But you want to kind of smooth out your glue, especially to the edges, but then you won't have lumps and bumps. So you want to kind of be um, that there. So you don't have a bumpy journal. Unless you want a dimensional journal, that's fine too. I always like to smooth everything to the edge so I don't have anything popping up later. And I'll look over the elements and see if there's anything else I want to add. Okay. I thought it was a rule that you had to Stick your hand in wet stick. <laughs> oh, CV. All right, so let's make sure it's. All right, so let me just look at some of the things here. Like, there's these little gold pieces. If I wanted to cut them out, and you know, you could put stickles on those. Do I want anything else? Maybe that little fan. Of course, there's the fish. I could put the fish, another fish on there or another fish up here. That might be kind of cool to add a fish there. I don't know if it needs it, but let's kind of give it a test. That and that black fan. I like both of those. All right, let's cut these out and maybe ink, uh, gold edge these and then put them on here too. Let's see, I'm thinking, does it need a fan there? Just kind of like the fan. I just kind of like it because it's her. Or it could go right here. I like that too. I think I'm going to put it there. All right, so let's go ahead and edge this. I should dry it. I should dry the gold before I start gluing it, but let me go ahead and glue it in here. Okay, let's see if I want this fish. I like the sailors on boat trying to capture the large fish monster. <laughs> All right, let's cut this koi out. Are y'all working on anything? Or are y'all just watching and chilling? Nothing wrong with that. I do that sometimes too. Most of the time I'm doing something, but if I'm in my art space, I will be working on something. Um, I like to have streams on in the background while I'm doing portrait commissions, which by the way, I got some dog portraits that I'm working on. Uh, I'm working on two at the moment. And uh, I'll show them to you. When they're done. All right, let's see if I want this fish on here. I'm just thinking it might be kind of cool to have maybe kind of coming over the both of them like that. What do y'all think? You think it needs it? I kind of think it needs more. I'm going to add it. All right, so let's go ahead and gold edge it. Edge it with gold. 
and we'll do another page. Are y'all getting ideas, inspiring something to try? Whether it's in a journal or a page, whichever you decide to do. All right, let's go ahead and dry this. Oh, the boat. You wanted me to put the boat on there. I don't know. It's a little, I think the boat might be a little big. Might be a little overpowering. You know, I think it might be a little overpowering. I'm going to go with the fish because it's just too big. It's too big. I actually want it coming like right down over her face, like to her hair there. The gold's probably not quite dry. The glue will dry clear. All right. All right, so now let me go ahead and hit the whole thing with the heat gun here. sure it's nice and what you mean over here is this what you're saying Devin it should have been over there the boat. okay there we go I think I like that and it's just got a little quote on there so there we go on that one so that was <laughs> Yeah, this I, my heat gun is it's like 25 years old. Me, let's see, Paula had one. Julie, I think Julie Topaz has finally quit on her. But we've had we've had these heat guns, these Marvy Uchida heat guns. That I mean, it's like 25 years, maybe 30 by now. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let me put these stencils back in the pack till I. Decide what next stencils we need, and let's see what we need next. What do we have next? Let's, let's go back over. I still want to keep a piece of wax paper in here until I want to make sure that's 100% dry, especially since there's some glue kind of seeping out. I kind of want to do this girl back here, where this girl here. I think I'm going to do this page. All right, so let's put some wax paper behind. I think I want to do her. All right. I'm going to leave my gold sponge out because I think I might use some more gold. But I need to, oh, I still got the black and the red. Let's get that little piece. So that'll, that'll probably still work as well. But I think I also want some uh, sepia color in here. Let's see. Yeah. This is uh, called Milk Chocolate. I think I want this color with the black. All right, so oh, this is a new one. Okay, let me bust it open here. All right, let's put a little of that out. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably do the black and then I'll do a stencil with the chocolate color the caramel color just block just back that theory up i don't know what i missed something 
I don't know what theory I backed up. <laughs> I don't know what theory I backed up there. Let me get a bigger piece of paper here just to so make sure. There we go. All right. Going back in here with my fingers again. I'm going in there with the black. I'm trying to get in the in the uh, ditch here, and you can get you know might need to get a paintbrush into the crevice there. Let's see. So there's not a white edge showing in there. Let me get my baby wipe. Bye, Sylvie. Thanks for stopping in. Just softening it. And so I have wax paper all around this, so I'm not getting, um, sticking the pages together. Okay, now, before it completely dries, I'm going to take and blend it or soften it. I can go back around that edge if I wipe too much off, but I really want to make sure I, I soften all this. Okay. Okay, I'll go back over and make that a little darker on that edge. <clears throat> All right, softening. Then you just got to keep moving it. Okay, fresh one here. I'm going to add stenciling, so that'll bl that blends it in even more. Okay, so a little bit more right in here. All right, I got to get another baby wipe. Go through a lot of baby wipes. All right. Get that edge just so. All right. Nothing's in caps. Where did you get the journal from? I got off of Amazon Hedgy, but I can't tell you the name of it or anything. It's if you just look up, I'll show you. I'll show you the whole thing after I dry it. I can't close it right now. All right, let's go ahead and dry this.
So the journal is a leather with just a strap. This is what it looks like on the side. It's got six signatures in it. it but I don't know the name of it, so I can't help you. Sorry, I didn't keep the um, paper on it or whatever. All right, so now let's see. Now I want to use some of that... Uh, I'll just go ahead and use the one that has the gold on it for the brown for now. I'll get another one if I want the, some gold. So I want to find another stencil. I want to use something different. So I'm going to flip through my stencils here and just see what I might like. Kind of like that. Kind of goes with it. So then I'm going to add some of the red, too, in some form or fashion. Let's see. Leaves. I don't really want leaves. I don't really want geometrics. I want something kind of patterny like that. I think I'm going to go with that, at least for now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of the uh, milk chocolate color. All right, so now let me put some uh, dry wax paper behind. All right, so now let's see which way do I want it to go. Kind of like this, I think. All right, so let's kind of have it going up and down. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Just subtle, just knocking the black back just a little. I think you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. A little thick right there. Go. Do this side, then I'll dry it so I don't smear it when I do the other edges. Okay, let's dry that. my way around here just to have a little bit of it some in the middle there. Let's see if I can kind of work some down in there. It's right on the bend of the signature, so it's a little tricky to get in there. Yeah, that's not going to get it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do the edges first. Y'all don't don't freak out now. Don't freak out. <laughs> Sorry, it needed to be done. There we go. Let's just do one little piece right there. Okay, I think I got it all the way around. Let's dry. <laughs> right. I rarely use a stencil as like a whole thing, you know? I use bits and pieces of a stencil.
So I think what I'm going to do now, let me put this in the water. And I think I'm going to just get a back end of a paintbrush here. And I'm going to go in with the maroon. I'm going to make some dots, almost like wallpaper looking effect here. Now, again, this is going to be something that's going to have to really dry well because, you know, it's kind of thick when you do dots, right? Just show the stencil <laughs> Jesus hands, <Rand>, yeah. <laughs> and I might see if there's another little fan. Maybe she could be holding. She's got something, a bucket or something in her hand. But maybe find a little one of those little fans to put in her hand. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> Rachel. All right. So now let me dry it just a little and then I'll look, cut something out of here. You know what I need to do? I need to use my new gold Janet pen. Stuck it in here. My new Janet gold pen. I already got it primed. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of really crooked, isn't it, guys? Here. Let me zoom in. Anytime y'all think I need to zoom in, let me know. Because I kind of try to go back and forth between the big picture and the close-up. Yeah, get on it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go around all my little red dots. Might stand out a little too much, but I'm going to go for it now anyway. <laughs> Look how bright that is. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. Okay, we'll have to see what I can do with that now. I didn't think it was going to be quite that that bright, but we've, we went for it. Now we got we got to roll with it now. Maybe I'll put some just gold dots. That'll kind of detract from the big circles. We'll do that. So let's go ahead and go around all the red circle or the red dots because it's really a bright gold pen that's why i like it right all right and then i gotta find a fan Me. 
All right, so what I'm going to do next <laughs> is now I'm going to go in here. Maybe I should make these flowers. Maybe I should put them on stems. Because it looks a little, I don't know, it's a little distracting now. I might make them stem or swirls. Hmm. I don't know. I think the further I go, the more I'm going to say, I, I overdid it. I overdid it. <laughs> but I'm thinking, look, this is what I'm thinking. What do y'all think? I know you can tell me. Dee Dee, you went too far. <laughs> I think I'll just put the dots on this side, not the circles. Okay. All right, there we go. It's some bright gold, I'm telling you. All right, so I think what I'm going to do on this one is just put the dots, not the circles. To remind me, don't overdo everything. Don't have to overdo. I get a new gold pen and I go cray. <laughs> Can even put a little bit of gold. Okay, there we go. Dee Dee looked like my kind of wallpaper. <laughs> All right, so yeah. <laughs> I should have just put a gold dot in each of the red, but that's okay. That's all right. We don't have to love everything. All right, let me dry it. see about a fan in our hand. Uh, all this wax paper here. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can find a little fan. There's one in the thing. Let's see if I can find one by itself. Oh, here we go. Little fan right there. I think I'll just use the gold pen.
subtle, but it's in her hand. More gold. There you go. Okay. Calling that one done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the gold circles because it stands out so much, you know. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more gold to this thing. Okay. Fan poppy tip. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Okay, so let's make sure this is dry. I'll put a peek because I don't think that gold, all that gold's dry yet. So wax paper. Let's let's see if we have time for one more. You want to do one more? All right. So let's go back to where we glued in the new papers. We finished this one. I think it's dry. So I think we're good on that. So let's see. Where's, I think they're back in the back more. I don't think I have more up here. Oh yeah, I got that guy there. Did that one last time. It's right there. Okay. So I could just edge him. I don't even know that he needs too much but an edging. Let's just go ahead and edge him out. I'm going to edge him. <laughs> Maybe put a quote. One of the quote cards. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do red, the maroon on him. I think I'll do it with a paintbrush so I can get it more uh, directed. Let's get a brush here. Let's see. There we go. All right. Get it okay. Make sure we got wax paper behind it. Because I tend to circle all my dots. <laughs> uh, maybe put a couple poppies on the left side near the bottom and bossy girl today. <laughs> you are Devin. You are bossy. No, I'm just okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take two coats because I, I want to keep it. I want to I want it nice and dark around the edge, but I don't want to carry that red too far in. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it really a dark edge and then I'll do a second coat where I'm kind of blending it in. Maybe with a blue. Let's see. So let's just go ahead and get a nice start here. And we'll do the blend. Have to get a little bit more out. All right, so I'm going to dry this. Okay, now I can put a second coat on some of the areas here. 
So it's real dark red. Because red is very translucent. So a lot of times it takes two coats when you use red. If you want it, if you want it very opaque. Whoops. So we'll do that second coat. Let's dry that. I think instead of blending it, I might do a, like a little painted border. Let's see. Maybe some blue and a little border, like. Just kind of go over that. I think that's what I want to do. Let's see. Let me get the right blue. Let me get the right blue. I want this blue. That might be too baby blue. Let's see here. This one. Nope, that's not green enough. Maybe this one, little teal color. Okay, <clears throat> so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna just paint it. Then I think I'm going to do a giveaway. Love that time I spent today. Oh, you're welcome, Mary. If y'all stay, stay about. If y'all can stay a few more minutes, I'm going to do a giveaway. All right. So let's see. Let me dry that brush. So I think what I'm going to do is just do some little like. little petally look at things to kind of make the edge rather than blend it I think I'm just gonna do a little back and forth design right along the edge to blend it I want to stay for a couple more minutes if you can and I'll do it I'll do it for international and you, I mean, it'll be for both. So it, it'll be um, in, like an envelope. So I'll put a couple of these stencils. One of the girls sent me some of these extra stencils to give. Well, I don't know if it was Trisha Green. I don't remember. I think it was. Sent me some extra stencils, like the ones I've been using, the square ones. So I'll put a little pack together. I'll put some of the stencils and some of these um, new papers that I got in an envelope which won't be bad to ship overseas. So, I probably won't get to the post. I'll see what day's today. I probably won't get to the post office till Saturday, though. So, it won't go out, like, right away. Oh, Mary, thank you so much. Thank you for the super sticker, Mary. Mary's one of the ones that I'm doing a pet portrait for. And she's been patient because I didn't do them over the summer. I said, Mary, I'm not doing them over the show. It's okay. There's no hurry. So Mary's is one of the portraits I'm working on. I got two going, two pet portraits going. So thank you, Mary. Thank you for supporting the channel. Very sweet, Mary. So, um, yeah. And I know she won't mind if I show it on, on stream. She gave me a lot of good pictures to pick from, too. So I'm just kind of doing little, I don't know, just little dot, little little lines. Just kind of going around the edges here. And I might do some gold as well with the pen. The gold pen! The Janet pen! What do y'all think? Does that look pretty good? I think that looks kind of good. Adding that teal on top of the maroon. Like that. All right, now. <clears throat> All right. So 
So I think I'm just gonna do some. Doesn't that look good? Oh, I like that. Looks like slow stitching. Yeah, Rachel, it does look like slow stitching, doesn't it? Just make my own little border. So I hope y'all are getting inspired, some ideas. Oh, and I need to read our Society of Idea Collector um, uh, prompt book, you know, our uh, inspiration book we read out of every week, which we haven't done for a couple weeks. I need to read out of that. So we'll do that here in a minute and the giveaway. Let me tell you how, while I'm finishing this up. So how the giveaway works, when I type in go, don't put in any numbers in yet. When I type in go, you're going to put in a number, and this is both international and U.S., so it's all in one. You're going to put in a number between 1 and 100, one number only. And the first person closest to the random.org number will get it, okay? All right, so let's see. Oh, I like that. I like the way that turned out. Oh, wait, there's some, I missed some. Oh, that's just, a, you can't see the shine right there because of the, because of the, the ditch. There we go. Maybe he needs a little bit of extra gold. Like, you know, some of these little pieces on him here. The belt, maybe the sword can be gold. Have a gold edge like that. Something like just a little extra gold. There you go. Get a little. Okay. All right, I'm liking that. Let's back up. Okay. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Let me get, I have the stencils over here to pick up this stuff off the floor because I'll be the first one to fall over it. Okay. Let's get a couple of the stencils out. Just going to pick three random ones. I have a little stack of them here. I've been trying to give them away as we go. So I got three little stencils here. Are they all different, I hope? Let's see. Yeah, they're different. So we'll get those three stencils. And let's move some stuff out of the way. Let's see what else we can do here. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna, and I have to cut the paper, guys, because I have to fit it in an envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. I'll give this sheet of paper. Ooh, ooh, I kind of cut into that tag. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we'll give these little tags and these stencils. And remember, this is all, this is just one giveaway here. Let's see what else is over here. Here's some of those, where's those quotes? Here we go. Let's give away a quote or two. Let's see, I'll put, throw in a couple of these quotes. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Better to see something once than hear about it a thousand times. So I'll throw that in there. And then let's find the paper. What I did here. Let's see. Oh, Okay, let's get one of these sheets of paper. Okay, so let's get this one. I don't want to get it too heavy now. It's going to go international. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut this down in half. So, and I'll just I'll go ahead and cut it down into 
manageable pieces. I know you're going, oh my gosh, don't go. But I got to. All right, there we go. So we got a little envelope of some of the papers, some of the little pieces, and some stencils. How about that? So is that a good little giveaway? Just for a little quick giveaway. All right, so let me get a post-it note. All right, a Sharpie pen. Where's my Sharpie pen? Where'd it go? Oh, I think I left it in my purse. I took it took it to the post office. Okay, so we're going to do 1 to 100. Don't put any numbers in. When you see me type in go, when I type in go, put in a number between 1 and 100. One number only. I can't stress that enough. One number only. The first person closest without going over. Okay, and that's international and U.S., Okay, international and U.S. So go ahead and put in your numbers now. I put in go. Let me go to random.org. <coughs> random.org. Okay. So we've got my random.org, got our little box there, and I'll generate a number as soon as everybody gets done. Putting in a number. Okay, one number only, little, so I can put this in one of these envelopes here. It, it can go international. I think it'll spit in this. Oh, I got some here somewhere. I got some envelopes here somewhere. I'll have to dig one out. Anyway, I got, I got an envelope that'll fit in. Okay. All right, I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. <clears throat> 60. The first person closest to 60 without going over. Without going over. Oh, hi, Ethan. Ethan, Ethan, you have 54. You, that's pretty close. Ethan is a coloring lamp. If y'all missed my show on the coloring lamp <coughs> last week, last Wednesday, make sure y'all go watch that. Go watch that video. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. You like the slow-mo, Devin? Okay, closest to 60 without going over. Let's, I'm, I'm scrolling back as, as well. Okay, let's see. Scrolling, scrolling. There's 62. Anne, Anne has 62. So unless somebody has 60. Oh, no, sorry. That's over. Sorry, Anne. That's over. It's the closest to 60 without going over. Let me go back. Let's go back. Who is it? All right. Um, okay, Tommy Joe had 55. <clears throat> I'm looking. Okay, everybody says Tommy Joe. Tommy Joe had 55. So Tommy Joe, send me your address. Tommy Joe Vallejo. Okay, you had 55. Okay, email me your address, Tommy Joe, and I'll send this out to you. Okay, here's my email. I do not share your address with anybody. I don't put you on an email list. I just send out your goodies. So there you go, Tommy Joe. Email me. You're welcome. Email me right away so I can. Uh, did you grab my email? Grab my email so I can get it out to you in the mail. So there we go. Little stencils and a little pack of goodies, Tommy Joe. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, now I want to, let's just set, let me slide my little thing over here. Okay, let me slide that over. Let's get our book and read our inspiration. Our inspiration quotes from A Thousand and One Ways to Be Creative by Barbara Ann Kipfer, a little book of everyday inspiration. You did? Okay. Thanks, Tommy Joe. I'll get that in the mail to you. So um, let's see where we are. We, we've we been reading all this book for like a couple years. And I just read it like a page, a couple of pages a week. So uh, we're up to 653. 
<laughs> so let's go ahead and read these. Let me get, wait a minute. Let me get, I, got, I think my hands are, eh, I better not. I don't want, I was going to use my pointer, but I don't want to get paint. I don't want to get paint on my silver Torah pointer. So, all right. So, um, cause my hands are pretty dirty. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, read. I'll, I'll use a paintbrush here. I'll use the back end of a paintbrush. Uh, no, I did not, Devin. I have not done one for a couple weeks ever since I got back from, um, you know, the funeral and everything. I just, I haven't had a chance to really put together the next one, but I'm going to try to get back to it. But also I want to, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have jury duty at the end of the month. Somebody else that was called on that same Monday uh, got a call back and said that they canceled it because of the virus. So I don't know if I'll get a call. So, but as far as I know, I got jury duty on the 27th and October, I want to do Inktober. So I plan on doing 31 drawings of chickens, chickens and roosters, <laughs> chickens and roosters for Inktober. Okay. Let's go ahead and read these for the day. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to get back to it, but I also want to get back to doing, uh, giving away prints. So we're going to, you know, I, it's just been a busy summer. <laughs> okay. 653. Write a letter to the most important person in your life to be delivered in the event of your death. 654. Compose a school song. 655. Make smiley face pancakes. And also, guys, when I'm reading these to you, think about how you can draw, write, doodle. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm reading. You can make it your own, okay? And uh, uh, chicken. Yeah, I got the, don't think I got the dogs, Devin, but I got the chickens. I kept your chicken photo to use, but I don't think I saw dogs. Let me see. Let me go over here and see if I got the right. I think I got your chickens, Devin, but I didn't see a dog. Unless the dog's in there with the chickens and I missed the dog because I was looking at the chickens. Is this it, Devin? Is that your chickens right there? I got this one, but I didn't get a dog one. Oh, I didn't see the video. Were they, was a dog chasing the chickens? <laughs> this is all I got, Devin, but these are going to be good. These are going to be good to draw from. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the video. Yeah. And I probably don't have the email anymore. I just saved the picture of the chickens. <laughs> okay. So... Invent a new buzzword. Expose yourself to a great to great works of music. And that could mean if you have a favorite song, a tune, a, a, a lyrics, you know, do a do a drawing, do a doodle, do a, you know, do something with the lyrics. Paint diagrams of the heavens on dark paper with luminous paint. Well, we kind of we, we're close to that, aren't we? <laughs> To create freely, judgment must be set aside. Write quiz questions about a subject you are wrestling with. Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. I can see Mary. Mary, or, um, she's probably not here. Mary, I can so see you doing that, writing quiz questions about a subject. <laughs> I can so see Mary doing that. Don't feel obligated, Mary. I'm just saying I can see you doing that. Do something frivolous. Knit a sweater. Well, I would draw a knitted sweater. I would draw the cable stitches, but I don't think I'd knit one. Okay, so there we go. So I moved the little post-it to the next week. So I hope y'all got some ideas, some inspiration. And I'm, by the way, guys, go, go look on the Society of Idea Collectors hashtag on Instagram. And there's lots of, you know, ideas we posted. Plus, I try to hashtag, I mean, I try to put um soic uh in the playlist so if we do something like we did like i think we did 13 weeks didn't we do 13 weeks of ideas before i left um and came back 13 weeks i think if you look in society of idea collector playlist you're gonna have tons of ideas so don't wait for me to give you a new one go back to the old ones if you haven't done any of those Go back to the old ones that I've already given you and use some of those, right? Use some of those. Okay, so I'm going to keep a piece of paper in here until make sure that's dry. And um, 
so we did this one today and we did the fish and i mean the uh fan and the girl here this one so yeah so just you know it's just an art journal with some of the pretty papers you can do napkins there's uh, napkins in here as well and uh and make you an art journal of just you know things that you like it doesn't have to have you can put a, a quote or something on it if you want but it doesn't have to be all that meaningful you know just can be pretty it can just be something inspiring and pretty for you to flip through to look through to get inspired by and you know look this is there's a lot in there almost all these pages have got something started on them so Let's see the dog running to the chair. I missed it, David. I did not see a video. I did not see the video. So, but I do like the chicken pictures. I'm going to use them. Uh, and for those of y'all don't know, uh, this will be, I think this will be my seventh year, my seventh year of doing maybe my eighth. I forget. Uh, Pacola knows I've done, um, I've done Inktober for six, seven, or maybe this will be my eighth year. And this year I'm going to do it in this journal here, and I'm going to do chickens and roosters, beaks, feet, feathers, different parts of chickens, you know. So I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do for Inktober. So, okay, all right, Devin. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. If you want to see my previous years of go on Instagram, I've posted every year that I've done them. I, you know, every day, every day I did um, for 31 days, every, um, every day for those six or seven years. And um, they're all on my Instagram and you can see them uh, all, all, all of them are over on Instagram. So here's my, this is, this is what we did on Monday, colored her. Um, let me go to my home page here. So there's, it's, you can either find me as Dee Dee Willingham, look at the glue on my fingers. Uh, Dee Dee Willingham or Inky Well with an I, either one. And just scroll back every year, every year there is uh, a new set of Inktober, uh, 31 of them every, every year. Okay, so here, last year I did the in insects. I did in Insectober. I did a poster, and it's a huge poster. It's like 32 by 40 or something like that. It's a huge poster, and what I did is every uh, every day I drew a little a little bug on, on the poster until the whole poster was full. This is the whole poster, which is, what is it? It's, uh, oh, it's 22 by 29. I thought it was bigger, and so... I filled the whole poster with one bug a day, one bug a day until we did a whole poster. And, and I didn't show you the whole poster till the end of the month. So all you saw every month, every day was one section, one bug a day. <laughs> oh, and this is the other thing I want to try to get back to is in uh, October is our cute and creepy pop manga cute and creepy i want to try to do some more of that this year too so that's that's our october plans anyway yes anybody can participate in inktober anybody just what you have to do is just hashtag it hashtag inktober 2021 and that's all and um and you don't even have to do that but if you want people to see it that's what you have to do is just hashtag it and you know this this year will be 2021 so yeah yeah. Okay. Good. Cause I love that cute and creepy. I've had, I've worked in it for a couple of Octobers. So maybe we can work in it again. This oh, here, let me go. Hang on. We've got a few minutes. Let me go grab it. Hang on. on the shelf in here because I was working on it or had it set us ah here it is okay 
what's in here? Okay, so I'll show you my cute and creepy um, that I've worked on for a couple of Octobers. Um, I don't do the, the prompts. Um, ink they put out, I don't know if it's Jake Parker who puts out the uh, prompts. I've never done the prompts. I've always done my own themed. I did uh, movie monsters my way. I did the insects. I did um, so I do uh, I do my own themes. So I don't I don't follow the uh, and you don't have to. You don't have to follow the prompts. You can do whatever you want. The idea is to ink something every day for 31 days. Okay, so here's my cute and creepy. I'll just flip through it um, so you can see what I've done in it so far. And um, I want to I want to continue working in it. Well, I can't promise that I, I, I'm going to work in mine, but I can't promise. I can't do co collabs. I don't have time to do co collabs. So you're free to work along with whatever I'm doing, but I've, I'm not doing collabs. Yeah, I just don't have time for that. But I want to. I'm going to work in this because I want to try to finish this book eventually. So I did most of these last year. There's a few that I did the year before. I love these guys. Oh, look, I gave them armpit hairs. <laughs> So anyway, but they're all posted. They're all posted on Instagram as well. But I want to finish this book eventually. So I figure if I just keep working on it every uh, every October, I'll eventually I'll eventually get done with it. <laughs> but I I really like the book. It's fun. But these backgrounds, they can take a minute. I mean, because that's a lot of coloring. And I, and I do use a lot of acrylic paint. I use a lot of acrylic paint for the backgrounds and things because it makes it faster if you use acrylic paint instead of just pencil, you know. So if you do, a, if you color it like all these hats, I color them all in with a wash of acrylic paint and then I shade with pencil. I'm not a good illustrator. My drawings tend to be more on the creepy side. Yeah, this is fun. This is a fun book. It really is. But you know, look, that's a lot of that's a lot of detail. And it does take a minute. I like this one too, because I like the way the head. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's Pot Manga, Cute and Creepy, Camilla Del Recco, and she has lots of books out. I have her Mermaid, and then she just has a Pot Manga one, and she has a couple of um, drawing books out. So look her up, and uh, she's a young girl. She's she's young, I think, and I think she's got some YouTube videos. So look her up, but um, yeah, this is fun to do in October. So let's see. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'll head on out, uh, figure out something for lunch before Hubster gets here for lunch. And um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoyed doing some of the art journaling and um, with some stencils. And again, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take, if I have um, uh, jury duty on the 27th, I'll take this and my phone and do some um you know rooster sketches to get you know prepped for uh prep for uh inktober so uh thanks trisha thanks so much thanks for being here thanks everybody thanks all y'all that gave super chats and 
support the channel. Hi, Abigail. Good to see you, Patricia. Good to see you. Anybody else I missed? I do go back and scrub through the chat to try to read and see people I missed so I can go follow you if you have an art, if you have a channel, an art channel and you have content on it. I don't follow people that don't have any videos because why, you know, I just don't. But if you have a content on your channel, I try to follow everybody, you know, that I missed. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Fernando. Have a good good day, Fernando. Shelly, thank you. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a blessed day. And don't forget, uh, um, Ethan from The Coloring Lamp is here. Go over to um, his videos, YouTube, Instagram, and thecoloringlamp.com, I think is what it is. And uh, go watch my video that I did last Wednesday on The Coloring Lamp. And um, and go look. I mean, it's awesome. It's really it's so much fun to color those lamp those lamp shades. So um, go follow go follow uh, him on uh, the coloring lamp. All right, guys. We all have a great day, and I will uh, I plan on being here Monday, or I'll see you at somebody else's stream. So y'all have a great weekend. Bye, guys.